Okay, so we've got an efficiency problem and we've got a building here and we've got a motor and this motor has a shaft connected to a uh, cylinder and the cylinder has a cable attached to it that goes around and around this motor is plugged into say a wall and from the wall the motor here the motor consumes 2000 watts of electricity okay so the the power of the motor input is 2000 watts now there's a mass down here and that mass is 60 kilos and this distance here is four meters okay and what we know also is that the time taken to lift this mass up to the top here is 10 seconds so what we're looking for is the efficiency of the motor so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna say from the equation of efficiency is equal to work output okay divided by work input times 100 the question is what's the what is the uh, work output well the work output is how much work did the motor do in lifting the mass so in that case it is the change in the gravitational potential energy of the mass that is equal to the work out okay uh, therefore we could say what is the change in the gravitational potential energy well it's initially let's just say this is zero location so therefore it's mgh that's the amount of work done uh, on the mass. So now let's calculate this. The mass is 60 kilos multiplied by 9.8 uh, newtons per kilo multiplied by a height of 4 meters and that's going to give us let's get out our trusty RPN 60 enter 9.8 times 4 times and we get 2352 2352 Now, that the unit of that, okay, is going to be joules. That's a unit of work. Okay, so that's 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 work. So the unit is joules. Now, how much? Now that we know how much work out we have how much work in do we have it's d it's not 2000 you see because power is equal to work over time therefore work uh, I don't like to use that W that's okay is equal to power times time therefore what's the power input it's 2,000 watts 
multiplied by 10 seconds gives me 20,000 joules because a watt is a another way of expressing that is a joule per second so seconds cancel out you're left with joules so therefore that is my work in so therefore in order to calculate the efficiency all we need to do is say work out divided by work in times a hundred which is work out was 2,352 joules divided by 20,000 joules and <coughs> what do we get? Uh, 20,000 divided by and we're getting times 100 that's 11.7 or 11.8 percent 11 point eight percent efficiency not a very high efficiency for a motor at all it's very low um, this thing is going to be producing probably a lot of heat okay well thanks for watching this problem see you next time <laughs>